Hello, Leo. It is your turn for your reading for January to February of this current year. I am using Starman Tarot. Fuck yeah. Just got it for my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to me. I love it. Such pretty, vibrant colors. Such pretty things in them as well. Which I really, really adore. Like, the, the, the illustrations and everything are beautiful. The dude who actually did the um, artwork, David De Angelis, I think is his name is pronounced. I'm not sure. He actually did two albums for David Bowie, who is my future ex husband number 13, until he passed away recently. Which my husband reacted to by saying, David Bowie. And then I was like, yes, David Bowie. He was a Capricorn, too. Very proud of that fact. But anyway, we're going to go on to your reading, Leo. As soon as I'm done shuffling these, I can't shuffle them like my other cards. Like, they're too big for my hands, and they're really flimsy, and I don't want to bend one. Like, my King of Cups is actually um, damaged, and I know I didn't do it. Like, I, I haven't done it anywhere except for on this table and on my bed. And the first reading I did was on my bed. But I know that, like, I definitely didn't tear it, because, like, I would have been really upset with myself if I did. But it's whatever. That's how things come. I got great cards. There's no reason to why. No whammies. Okay. So we got for you, Leo, Six of Swords. Strength Reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles. Temperance. Prince of Swords beginning theme is... Three of Wands reversed. Getting tired of waiting, I feel like. It's tired of being on the lookout for things. Tired of... I don't know. It just feels like you don't want to do that anymore. Huh. That's a weird vibe with that card. Like, if you can't see, like, the world's actually reflected upside down. Like, here's the town with the dude in it. Here's the town here, and nobody's here in this portion. And there should be somebody there to reflect that perfectly, but there's not. Well, there's some. Uh, let's see. First three cards. All right. First card. Six of Swords, right? Moving on to calmer waters. Getting away from bullshit, even though it's trying to pull you back in or blow you back in. Could symbolize some air in there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Since the dude's blowing on his face. Uh, possibly dealing with the Page of Swords. Like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <laughs> I'm letting you know. Um, could be dealing with trying to move away from somebody who is um, being a little spy right now. Sending like little birds and shit to like get information for them. It's not like that's a bad thing, but they are very, very snoopy right now, I feel like. Five of Pentacles underneath of that. Someone feels like they've been left out alone, locked out of their home. Like, this looks like a house. Looks like they're begging to come back in. One's got their wings ripped off. Either one's suffering... Or one's just begging to come in. It's one of the two. Uh, lack of a wish fulfillment. I feel like this is a nightmare situation. With the Nine of Cups reversed. Like, definitely a daydream, but not a very good one at that. Feeling, like, left alone. Feeling unloved, unwanted. Maybe feeling like you're stuck with, like, the worst person in the world as well, Leo. Or stuck with someone who can't be helped. I mean, that's somebody you're dealing with that's wanting to come back in. Mm. Uh, strength reverse. This is what I count as your card as well, Leo. Along with the sun. Um, being in your darker element, I feel like. Not paying attention to the 
better part of you. You're too focused on, like, your roar than you are your might. I feel like. If that makes sense. Um. Queen of Cups reversed. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Someone being a little emotionally manipulative. Leo. <laughs> That's what you want, like, I mean, are you being emotionally manipulative, or is someone doing that to you? Like, are you showing your darkest side to avoid that? Or to take control of that, or is that what you're voicing out? I feel like when that chick is right side up, She's staring more at her gentler side, which is restraining itself, whereas reverse, the other one's like roaring and destroying some sort of emotional manipulation right here. What's going against is temperance, possibly a Sagittarius. Page of Cups. Scorpio, Sagittarius, no, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but Sagittarius is in there too because of temperance. Someone wants to come together with someone who is being emotionally manipulative, but very naive and like immature about it. Maybe this person isn't even like willing to apologize for something, possibly for making someone feel left out in the cold and then that's the nightmare. Yeah, this is like a lot of water, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of water, a lot of air. Like, is there any more pen no, there's no more pentacles. <laughs> like, ooh, this is a lot of like odd energy, Leo. Ah, everything fell. Oh my goodness. Number three. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm not gonna use those. Those don't feel right. Like they were down on the ground too long. Five second rule. Let's see. Eight of cups reversed. What is that with the fears and rejections? It's like someone wants to move on and they can't. They feel stuck in place. Some hidden things. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me look at this. Okay, someone is definitely like clinging on to something they don't want to anymore. And like, there's some emotions lying below, but also some secrecy as well. Like, they don't want to take off. This is a fear of rejection, right? So I'm afraid a secret's going to come out if they decide to leave and that's why they're sticking around? Moon speaks of hidden things, things you can only see in the dark, right? Someone's stuck in a secret situation they can't get away from or something. Ooh. Okay. Prince of Swords, right? Definitely wants to come in. He's got dynamite at his feet. He's definitely raising his hand. He wants to speak. He wants to say something. He wants to come in with all this past shit and say something. Which is, he's leaving. <laughs> like, he wants to say this. Like, um... What is it? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and then Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Like, someone wants to talk, but they're leaving that behind. But not talking is definitely bringing up issues with them wanting to leave it alone. Like, keeping your mouth shut is definitely causing you not to be able to, um, move on from the situation at all like no this lack of communication like someone wants to communicate that they're going but someone's keeping it quiet with the moon 
And then we have the Page of Pentacles as the ending theme. Someone in the background has a small, who's very tiny, but has a pentacle all their own. That they can invest in. But like, nobody on this end is waiting. Nobody's really investing in waiting. Let's see what your three advice cards are, Leo. And we'll be done. Ooh, two cards. Take control with the Emperor. Oh, 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 oh. Could be an Aries as well. Um, maybe there needs to be dominance, needs to be control, needs to be someone to establish the order of things and to be like, hey, I'm the one who's in charge here. Not you. Right? Then over here, and this is dealing with this Moving away from this page of swords and like this nightmare situation, right? Someone needs to take control of that, balance that, get that through. People's heads are like, I'm the one who rules this area, right? You don't tell me what to do. I tell me what to do. People listen to me in this bitch, right? Then we have this, this strength card, possibly Yulia, who's belting out some emotional manipulation. And I feel like you want to come together, but you're not going to admit that shit. And now you're just waiting if you, if you should go ahead and harvest all of these dead bugs wrapped up in your web for a nice feisty feast with friends and relatives, or if you should just keep on building some more, because like, yeah, sure, they're going to die, but they're still going to be having blood in them, and I can eat that shit. That shit lasts for days. I can eat for days off of all of these bodies. I'm going to wait and see if I should collect some more bodies. That's what you're doing. That sounds dark as hell, but you know, it's whatever. Um, then we have the Eight of Cups reverse, where someone's not moving on, they're keeping a secret, and that secret is that they want to tell people that they're moving on. And they're going on with their own cup and being like, fuck this. I'm going deeper without you. I'm out. Yeah. But they can't do that because they aren't saying anything really. And they're not coming to a decision because of it. Yeah. So you need to decide something, man. <laughs> but that's your situations, Leo. So, I'm taking off. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.